On the very first Christmas day, Jesus was born in the little town of Bethlehem. Born in a humble stable, he was the king of kings. That night, as the heavens twinkled with the light of 10,000 stars, a chorus of angels sang the good news to shepherds in the field. They hurried to Bethlehem, where they found Jesus, wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger with his parents, Mary and Joseph. When he, the shepherds left, a snow-white dove cooed the child to sleep from, from her perch high in the rafters. sleeping, Mother Partridge rose from her nest in the pear tree. During all the excitement, she had stayed close to her nest, guarding her chicks. But now, her curiosity got the best of her. Strutting to the manger door, she peeked inside. When she saw Jesus, her tiny heart was filled with love. Then Mary spoke this riddle. What are they that are by one? One faith. One truth, one God alone, seated at his heavenly throne. God is our true love. Mary smiled and nodded. As Mother Partridge returned to her nest, one brilliant star fell from the sky and softly, gently rested atop the pear tree. Excitement awakened two turtle doves who were roosting in an olive tree nearby. On the second day of Christmas, the turtle doves flew to Bethlehem to see what all the excitement was about. Mother Partridge looked up from her nest and clucked once, twice for the two turtle doves. Cacacony, cacacony! As she entered the stable and bowed poor Jesus, their hearts were filled with the love of God. Then Mary spoke a riddle. What are they that are by two? Two testaments, the old and new. We know that these two things are true. Mary smiled and nodded. The turtle dove returned to their olive tree. And that night, two shining stars fell from the sky and softly, gently rested on the pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, 
Three French hens grandly processed into the barnyard. The king's real hens, and they had journeyed from the king's coop to see the Prince of Peace. As they curtsied before Jesus, their hearts felt the love of God. Then Mary spoke her riddle. What are they that are by three? Three persons in Trinity, God in three and one in unity. Mary smiled and nodded. The French hen returned to the king coop with the royal scoop, where they gossiped the day away. Gossiped, four collie birds fell from a fence, laughing. They laughed all day and laughed all night as three shining stars from fell from the sky and softly, gently rested on the pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, the collie birds flew, still laughing and joking, to see the Christ child crash landing into the pear tree. Three. They were greeted with an icy stare from Mother Partridge that froze their laughter. Solemnly entering the stable, they bowed before Jesus, and their hearts felt the love of God. Then Mary spoke her riddle. What are they that are by four? Mary smiled. Did not. The collie birds returned to their fence, and that night, four shining stars fell from the sky and softly, gently rested on the pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, five splendid ring necked pheasants entered the stable. As they bowed before Jesus, their hearts felt full of a God. Then their rest feathers swelled with each heartbeat till their right neck rings turned to gold. And Mary spoke her riddle. What are they that are by five? Five great books God gave to us. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, tells creation's history. Mary smiled and nodded. The ring-necked pheasants departed, singing the good news from golden throats. And that night, five shining stars fell from the sky and softly gently rested on the pear tree.
day of Christmas, Mother Partridge was awakened by a distant honking sound. Slowly, it grew nearer and louder until a gaggle of geese, six to be exact, waddled into the barnyard. Sighing, Mother Partridge chucked, tucked her head under her wing and slept. As the six geese bowed before Jesus, their hearts were filled with love of God. Then Mary spoke her riddle. What are they that are by six? Sun and moon and planet earth, in six long days did God give birth. Six days to work is not so wrong, for God himself did work so long. Mary smiled and nodded. The geese honked as he waddled down the lane, and that night, six shining stars fell from the sky and softly, gently rested on the pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, the sound of trumpets filled the air. Suddenly, seven giant trumpeter swans made a perfect ten-point landing on the pond. Emerging from the water, they preened their pure white feathers before entering the stable. Bowing before Jesus, their hearts were filled with the love of God. Then Mary spoke to her riddle. What are they that are by seven? Six days we have, we have to swim and play, but number seven is Sabbath day. We praise the Lord at trumpet sounds. Now let peace on earth be found. Mary smiled and nodded. Swans flew away, trumpeting God's praise. And that night, seven shining stars fell from the sky and softly, gently rested on the board. that are by eight. Eight Beatitudes are given, use right, and go to heaven. Mary smiled and nodded. The maids fetched their stools and went to milk the cows. And that night, eight shining stars fell from the sky and softly, gently rested on the pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, a great team of horses pranced up the lane pulling a carriage covered in precious jewels. When the carriage stopped, nine grand ladies emerged. With skirts and petticoats rustling, they danced a proper net for Jesus. They were irresistible. Even Mother Partridge joined in the dance. Mary smiled and nodded. 
the ladies whirled and danced away. And that night, nine of the shining stars fell from the sky and softly, gently rested on the floor. What are they that are by ten? Ten laws did God to Moses give, command and tools by which we live. Mary smiled and nodded. The lords donned their hats, leaped out of the door, and down the lane. And that night, ten shining stars fell from the sky and softly, gently rested on the pear tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, the partridge chicks covered their ears as eleven vipers streamed into the barnyard, playing a shrill matching tune in cut time. Warily, Mother Partridge signaled them to stop. Tapping her wings, she signaled the lullaby in three-quarter time. As the pipers softly played an angel song, their hearts felt the love of God, true love, that Mary put her riddle. What are they that are by eleven? Fishermen, friends, and brothers, too, eleven apostles to Jesus' truth. Mary smiled and nodded. The pipers piped down the lane. And that night, eleven shining stars fell from the sky and saw the leading rest on the fair tree. Oh, 
prepared to blaze with heavenly light on that twelfth Christmas night, the kings enter the stable. Bowing, they presented Jesus with precious gifts from distant orient lands, gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Wise men and noble kings, they humbled themselves before Jesus, who is the King of Kings. As they knelt before Jesus, their hearts were filled with the love of God. True love. And Mary smiled. <coughs> to our children to bring us the message of Christmas once again and also to our co-directors Molly Joe and Cindy Lou thank you so much <laughs> 